With a job like mine, I spend a lot of time giving people suggestions on what kind of car they should buy. But a lot of people ask me, as a car enthusiast and a car tester, what would I buy if I had to buy a car? And the answer? It's a Volkswagen GTI. Because not only is it practical and affordable, it's a lot of fun to drive. Even though they call this Volkswagen the GTI, let's face it, it's basically a sportier version of the Volkswagen Golf. And the Volkswagen Golf, it's a really nice car. But it's one shortfall, it's really the engine powertrain, it's not really the best in the world out there. However, they really fix that problem with the GTI. The 2.0-liter turbocharged direct injection motor is great. It's smooth, it's refined, gives you lots of power. The six-speed manual, it shifts smoothly. It's not the most precise in the world, but it's easy to shift, and it's easy to put that power down to the ground. And even with all that power, fuel economy is pretty impressive, although it does take premium fuel. Like the Volkswagen Golf, handling is really agile. This car feels very nimble, and steering, well, it's terrific. It's really responsive and has great feedback. But the GTI, it takes it up a notch. The suspension is a little bit lower, a little bit stiffer. It feels even more responsive. Body roll, there's nearly none of it. And as for the ride, even with that stiffer suspension, it really doesn't suffer that much. The Golf has a really nice ride. The GTI, not quite as good, but it's still comfortable. It's still compliant. It would be a really nice car for even for a long trip. Something else that's nice to add to the livability of the GTI is noise levels. Well, they're really low, and that's surprising, especially from a small and sporty car. The interior is really nicely finished. The materials are very substantial. They feel good, a lot of soft touch surfaces. And the GTI adds some nice little details throughout the interior, like the stitching on the sport steering wheel and the distinctive pattern on the seats. There's a fair amount of room in this small car. In fact, you could fit four adults in here without a problem. The front seats, they're very supportive, but they're a little bit narrow for some. The controls are very clear and pretty well laid out. The radio, it's a touch screen, but it's actually pretty easy to work out, and you've got knobs for tuning and volume. You could get the GTI as a two-door or a four-door, but they're all hatchbacks. And if you fold down those rear seats, there's lots of room to carry around your stuff. So the Volkswagen GTI proves you don't have to make a lot of compromises if you're looking for a sporty car. It's practical, it's easy to live with every day, it's fuel efficient, and it's a blast to drive. 